Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today we're going to bring Ovolink. It's a 24-port unmanaged switch, PoE, and it's it's pretty awesome stuff. I mean, you could you could actually manage the system either web or other face interfaces like SNMP, um, STP, LACP, ARP, DHCP, LL. DP. So there's a bunch of different solutions. You go unmanage this thing. You go log into it. You go change certain things around. And not only that, we're gonna see it. Big giant box, of course. They give you all the tools you need. They give you the actual connections for your actual rack. If you have a rack, if it's gonna go on a rack, this is pretty much all set up for a rack. Ready, simple to go. They give you the, the uh, all the screws. They give you the power adapter. Which, you know, it's convenient, of course, you're going to need it. Of course, the manuals in here, the guide, how to log into the system itself. Um, warranty information, uh, more information about their website, who they are, what they do. Weight, it's a little heavy duty weight, you know, we're talking about... Right now, I'm calculating, I'm guessing here, it's around six, six to five, five pounds, not bad, you know. Uh, let's turn it around, let's see all the ports itself. All right. So pretty much 24 ports in here, all ready to go. Um, they're all marked, simple label, right? Now on top of that, they're gonna be lighting up too, an indication of, of the processing. You know, if it's a, if it's an active light, it's gonna, if you guys know about switches, this is pretty much the same basic all around every single switch, you know, indication, light indication of uh, what's working, what's not working. Now, this is something I really like on this switch. So you could pretty much, daisy chains this sucker you know and what i mean to say is like they give you a couple of little items here they give you these little ports here which are our fiber ports connections right and they give you one two three four connections that you could daisy chain this to other switches on there uh, on top of that you could console in and there's other console ways to come in through here well this is the system the login so right now we're going to go ahead and go ahead and log in with the default and they give you the default off the bat, all right? So basically you enter the password, the admin. So the right now, the currently one, uh, you have to type in admin twice to log in. So let's go ahead and log in. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to show you what's included in this switch itself. So let's go ahead and start from the system information. We're gonna go ahead and, and check out everything that you guys can do in here. So we're gonna go with device boot. Reboot. This is pretty much just to reboot the whole system. Software upgrade. You could download the firmware, upgrade it through here. Date and time. Basic date and time. You can change it. Uh, right now, it's uh, it says for Beijing. We're gonna change it to minus eight hours, which is Pacific Standard. So many settings in here. I'm actually gonna have to move up, scroll a little bit. I'm actually have to move myself in the other side so you guys can see a little bit more. There's so many settings in here. It's just unbelievable how you can do with this stuff. I mean, these switches are uh, for the price. I'm, I'm telling you, it's under one thousand bucks. It's really worth it. I mean, there's a lot of settings in here that you can go in here and manage yourself. If you are not familiar with this, you don't have to touch this stuff. You can just plug in and go and you, it will automatically set itself up. But I do recommend you going in here and changing a couple settings, especially the timeline and and the location certain things that you guys got to want to do but it's self-managed you don't really have to come in here this is more for a security purpose a more security angle purpose that you want to access this stuff but you're gonna have to modify your computer so you have to change your ip address on your machine to a local ip address that it's only capable of handling through the switch so right now if you guys see it's 192.168.1.240 I had to change my local IP right now to 192.168.1.2. So it could be identified in the sense as the same network. And that's the only way I, I was able to get into this router here. Of course, we could always come back and rename this router too. We are gonna save the settings right now. The current settings I just changed, hit okay. And of course, I would recommend, highly recommend you change the password. The passwords were very, very, very important things you wanna do first of all. On, on the switch so if you got your first line of defense will be your router and it does have a built-in firewall then but if it gets compromised you have the second line of defense which is the switch itself 
if you guys see it there's a console in port right here on the corner so that that's for the old, old, old school people that want to do of course you plug in all your switch your waters through here and your your switches too um like i said fiber connection you could change this to different solutions now i'm gonna put the camera a little closer so you guys could hear how loud it is all right so we're gonna continue with the system itself uh, the one great thing I like about this one that you could program all the POEs to have different voltages. So if you have different devices that only take certain voltages, then that's what you're going to do. So right now I have it on. And if you guys can see it here, it, it's pretty quiet. It's not that loud. I'm going to put the phone right on this unit itself. And of course, I'm talking right now. It's going to go a little high. So we should see it in around 50s to 60s. Just to keep in mind, the system itself, it, it's touching. So the vibration is going to have something to do with it. So I'm going to lift it up and put it maybe three inches off the actual unit itself. And let's see how loud it gets. It's not bad. It's pretty, it's pretty decent. Now we're going to try putting this meter on the side of it where the actual noise is coming from the fans itself. I'm gonna move this a little bit more to the right. Not a big difference, you know. Um, it's pretty quiet. I, I I hear the fans, they're jamming, they're running, they're doing a thing. So I like about it that it's not that loud. I mean, it's one of those great things I like the meter. It's telling you exactly, hey, if you have maybe 20 of these suckers, maybe it's going to get louder. But right now, currently, I'm only running one of these. I'm going to put in two connections right now that are connected directly to the to the switch itself. And we're going to connect a PoE camera. This is a camera, a PoE camera. And it's, of course, you know, you could buy any PoE camera that you have. So here we have a PoE camera. It's working. It's connected. I see a light in the front of it. Now, we're also going to put in this wireless device and this is ubiquity and it's a poe ubiquity so we're gonna go ahead and hook this one up too and see how well it lights up uh if you guys can see it there's only one connection in the back there's a, a wham connection and there's a secondary too also so i'm gonna go ahead and put it on the wham connection you should see it come up in a bit it's a little difficult to plug this sucker in but there we go and should be coming up there it is yep there it is it's lighting up it's a little bit not bright enough in here but put the camera in there there it is so it's powering it over if you guys can see the light it turns blue in here of course these are great devices we're gonna do a review on this device so I got this device too like I said I, I had the wireless device and I have another power over Ethernet device here. And we're going to crank this sucker up. We're going to actually give power to this one right now. We're going to give it the power. We're going to give this power over Ethernet switch power through this actual original switch here. So we're going to light it up. If you guys going to see it, it lights up right now. And then we're going to go ahead and connect this one into one of the ports, another port from there. And if you guys see it, it's lighting up right now. Two ports and it's all coming power for um from this actual switch right now and if i want i could kind of connect the camera too and do another power is on ethernet switch here too so the review is not this switch it's actually the larger switch and that's what we're looking at but you can manage the power that goes the voltage that actually goes out from the actual switch and if you can notice this is a great this one right here in particular there's 36 to 57 uh, voltage vdc actually so um it's really great it's coming off from here it's balanced all pretty good and then it has enough power to balance and give out more to uh, uh this bridge i have in here this wireless device uh this wireless port so overall two switch one switch one power and it's all coming in from this, this same device now one thing i like about this whole system it's pretty quiet very decent it's very well made and uh, if you guys could see them I, I was very impressed with the actual fans they were pretty quiet they're pretty much at 55 decimals pretty much like a quiet office if you are gonna buy something like this it could be useful for like if it's in the open area open office 
but this is a really good workhorse. If you don't know anything about networking, it's something that it's a it's a great startup kit to start with and start messing around with and how to make a how to make your environment much safer. And then not only that, labeling them on the on the web interface is really simple. Controlling the voltages on the web interface, on the web GUI of the interface is another simple thing that I love. All around it love this device for under 500 bucks it's a steal very very useful very simple to use the but like i said the gui interface is one of the simple ones i ever seen it has a lot of details also you can name this you could actually change the ip's address so you can connect it different to what it, the default is right now currently the default is 192 the the passwords default to also all the instructions are set up on the actual manual but overall great buy um Ovolink is it's one of those new products I've seen in the market. They they make other stuff. They make video cameras, wireless devices, routers, and other things. But this is a one of very solid, well-made aluminum case. Um, like I said, very quiet all around the office. And if you have any questions or any comments, hit me up. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and we are out.